Okay, um, looking for the exit one. Looks like, uh, yeah, exit one is at the, uh, the main entrance to the cultural shelter. And uh, just going to uh, say it's pretty hot. And uh, just uh, walking it in a slow pace to try and keep a, a cool. Okay, um, here we got all the elephants. I they presume the place is actually called the um, Siam Nirat. Fantastic, there's the elephant. And uh, this is the cultural show. There you go. And that's the Mahout. I think there's going to be an elephant ride, I suppose. And um, it's just. There we go. There's the Mahout just going up there. Mahout is ready to go. And there's the second Mahout. Fantastic. At the cultural center, and there's a lady who's. Just waiting to be as uh, some of the acts from the show, and the show should begin at eight o'clock at the time. I have just taken a photo, and then the absolutely beautiful dresses and dress codes. Okay, here we are, um, just at the nursery. Siam. That's the uh, ball. That's the more traditional tune of uh, music. I'll just get near. This is what you hear in the Far East most often. Um, Burma, Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam. in a whole hour to go so we've got uh, some of the acts who will be performing at the show 100 performers beautiful as you can see here as this lady's dress code is beautiful and there's another lady who's got a beautiful dress code <laughs> and that's the drummers and plenty more. The show is at 8 o'clock, is that right? The show is at 8 o'clock, isn't it? 8 o'clock. In one hour. In one hour. Okay, this is the theater entrance. Ramayana. Ramayana Hall. There we go. And here's another performer who's just come out. Yeah, so it's great to see. I think there's going to be lots of acrobats. And
it's beautiful and it's Thai made, right? <laughs> made out in Thailand. Beautiful traditional rice cracker. Ice crackers, the old traditional way. There's a river boat that could take it all the way down. They would use these to sell fruits and vegetables on the floating market. Now, as you can see from the top of the boat, it's got a wooden plank, which is where they leave all the uh, fruit and vegetable baskets where the hole that's exactly where the person is actually sat and they just float along the uh, the rivers river streams uh, around there beautiful and this is more traditional outfit from the, uh, the traditional way of doing things this is the uh, this is there where they grind and um, de-husk the, uh, the rice in the um, pestle and mortar style and it's been well used I should say well there's a massage place where you can do some massage before you get to the show 
it's quite beautiful. And there's the, the ladies just there. This is the uh, central region um, where they're during the dry zone. This is um, a rice pudding. It's either be savory or sweet, is that right? You can have sweet or salty, right? Different style. This is sweet or salty? Okay. <laughs> okay, wonderful, thank you. Is this, is this uh, uh, the sweet or the sweet one? Okay. And do you have the sweet and sour, like sweet and salty as well, right? Coconut. Okay. Right. Thank you. This is from the central region of Thailand. Central area. Traditional. Okay. Wonderful. Buffalo heads. Or buffalo skulls. Which has been, uh, as you can see, they usually use them to plow the fields. And it's more of the central region. I should say it's a lot of the farming countryside. People would use these um, tools for farming purposes. Hey, this is sort of like the floating market aspect um, where you could see the actual houses on stills in the central region of Thailand, which is mostly. Um, waterlogged areas of the land, hence they would use the boats to go sell their produce which has been sort of like a floating vegetable market or fruit market uh, so to speak, or, so it's mostly either be on lakes or waterways which then uh, been um, used for the purpose of mode of transportation as well as communication through waterways in the central region hence um, most of the wet season it is impossible other than by boat it's a nice little feature in this uh, cultural center so the rice pudding is actually made on a little stove and it's got the little template or the tray that actually has the um, little <coughs> cavities that could be filled with the rice pudding filling or the rice pudding uh, base and it could be cooked nicely. Okay, um, another little house. It's beautiful Thai umbrellas. And you would be able to this omelette, <laughs> northern style omelettes. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just uh, just eggs, um, northern style. Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, you cook like this? It's cooked on a banana leaf. Beautiful. Wow. No, no pans, nothing. Just on banana leaf. So you can taste the banana leaf, right? Uh huh. How beautiful it's done. Fantastic. Thank you. Hill Tribe Village. It's beautiful.
traditional weaving. It's a king at the back. It's made out of coconut. So with the cab. Wow. This is so cool. That's a boat. That's a ceremonial boat. They usually perform these boat races.